Hi, hola, annyeong. It's me, Aaliyah, and I am finally back speaking in front of a camera after three-ish years. Yeah, you know, a lot happened. I'm still alive though, so. Today we're going to be talking about how I got topic level 5 in 5 months. And I'm going to show you guys my score. For the listening portion, tsuki, I got 76 out of 100. And I got 73 out of 100 for the tsugi, writing portion. And then 68 out of 100 for iki, reading portion. And my total score was 217 out of 300, leaving me at og, or level 5. First things first, my background in Korean. So I started self-study in Korean in May of 2014. And I started studying for the Topic 2 exam in May of 2021. So that is seven years of just straight up self-studying. And I think, what is it? I took one online course of Korean, but it was just like we meet once a week. It wasn't anything intensive, to be honest. So I, you know, I didn't really learn a whole lot from that class. If I were to, I guess, rate myself prior to studying for the Topic exam, I would say that my skill level was in between lower intermediate and like middle intermediate because I could have conversations with Koreans. I was able to do so on various topics and I could understand them. It's just that my vocabulary was extremely limited. That was my main issue. If I were to talk about the categories that I needed help with, I would definitely say it would be sugi and iki. I just didn't really have a lot of reading or writing practice. Prior to preparing for this exam, it was mostly just me listening to things and me speaking. Okay, so now I'm just going to talk about my books that I used and how I actually started studying. As I mentioned, I started studying in May and my exam was in October, so that was exactly five months to prepare for the exam. And the first book I used from May to June was this book, the Pindobyeol topic book. It's based off of the frequency in which grammatical structures appear in the exam. And just for background info, I just watched a lot of videos on the topic exam. Most of them were from Lindy Boltz. If you don't know who she is, she's like a polyglot and she speaks Korean so well. And she also got topic level 5 when she took the exam. And so this was one of the books she recommended. And I used pretty much the same method she used, which essentially was go through the book. It has three different sections. As you can see, 이거 모르면 떨어진다. Meaning if you don't know this, you're gonna fail. Those are like the grammar structures that appear the most in the exam. And then there's a part about like 이거 모르면 불안하다. If you don't know this, you're going to feel uneasy or anxious. And then 이거 또 알면 고득점. Meaning if you know this, you're going to get a high score. And those are just like the least frequent grammatical structure. And so the, I think there's around like 140 something, probably more than that, grammatical structures in this book. I went through all of them and I color coded them to mark which ones I knew, which ones I didn't know, and I think I didn't know around 70, 75. I were like just new to me. So I would try and just learn like two new ones a day, and then I would go over to review or like two forgotten ones essentially. And I did that for the first month. This book is written completely in Korean, so at first, as I mentioned, my reading comprehension skills were pretty weak. So it was a bit difficult for me at first, but once I continuously used the book, I started to learn a lot of vocabulary that way. And this helped out with my reading comprehension and I would say reading speed as well. Okay, book number two. 한국어 Bank, topic two. 한국어면 okay. This book essentially is the entire topic exam summarized. Yeah, <laughs> it has three sections. 특히, 쓰기, and then 읽기. You can see I made my little post-its over here just to help me. And so this book's written in Korean and English and it just goes through each section of the book or I should say it goes through each section of the exam and it gives you tips on how to actually figure out the question and how to find the answer as quickly as possible. Because you have to remember this exam is timed, right? So you don't have time to try and read all the answers after listening to the dialogue, for example, for the tsuki section, for the listening section. So this book just gives you tips on like, okay, what to listen out for. Or for example, in the reading section, like what are the key words or the key grammatical structures you need to know. This kind of stuff is in this book. So if I had to recommend a book, I would recommend this one the most, to be honest. You could just use this book. And one of my favorite aspects of this book is the fact that it has like 오늘의 어휘, meaning like today's vocabulary. So 
you can see here it has vocabulary and essentially all of these vocabulary sections are words that will appear on the exam at some point for example 검사, 구매, 나타나다, 줄어들다 all of these words you will hear them or see them or write them at some point when you're taking the exam and so this is really really helpful for vocabulary as I mentioned that was something I struggled a lot with I lacked in the vocabulary department and this book helped me out so much and what I really love about it, it has this cute little booklet that just has all the onre ohi I was using this book from I believe June to maybe like late August or early September it took me maybe two to two and a half months to really finish this book because I was memorizing all of the vocabulary like I memorized this entire book and the way I did this I would just write down the vocabulary and I'd write down the sample sentences and I forgot to mention this but this book also has like practice questions in it for each section and these practice questions also have vocabulary so I would try to memorize vocabulary in the beginning, like the extra vocabulary, but I realized it was too much after some point. And you can kind of just see like on the bottom, it has extra vocab. And so I would just use this. And it was pretty helpful overall, I would say. So this is a book, like I said, I strongly recommend this. And also during this time period, I took an online topic 2 course. It was just for like I think a month and it was from the Korean Education Center. We would just meet once a week. Basically we just took the online exams and then we would get like vocab lists with vocabulary which also was in this book so that also helped me and that was in June. Also during this time period from around June to September I started to go over my grammar again. So I went and got this book because I'm extra. So this is the Korean Grammar and Use Intermediate book. I think most people know this book. It's all written in English and I would just say if you wanted a grammar book, honestly, this is the one I would recommend because almost all the grammar in here is in the Pindobel topic that I talked about earlier, topic book. And it's written all in English so I just went through this book to help solidify and review the new grammar I had learned previously. And I, I'm extra man, so I got this one too. This is the advanced grammar book. This one, like, I didn't need to buy it, but I just wanted to. It also has like some of the grammar you would use in writing, which I knew was more formal and advanced, so that's why I got this book. But to be honest, all of the grammar in both of these books are online, so like you don't have to buy anything. I didn't have to, but I'm extra, so you know. Okay, the last book, finally. This one is the one I did not need to buy, but I bought it anyways. This is the Sogang Hangugo Sugi 3 book. Uh, this book is really for classroom use at Sogang University. It's not really a self-studying book. It just, I got it because I knew it had academic Korean and this is what I needed for the writing portion. It's based off of different majors. You can see it has like Hangugo, like if you were to study Korean, like the Korean language, it has psychology, I believe economics, and then uh, physics or something like that, or some kind of science. And so this book, I just got it because I wanted to have more reading practice and writing practice and it is focused on writing, it's a sugi book, writing book. So I just used it to try and get more formal structures for writing and it did help and I did learn more vocabulary this way. But this is the one book I would say I didn't need to buy so I would not recommend this book to be honest. But if you want a challenge, I would say, you know, go for it, especially if you're planning on studying at a Korean university. And so for the last month, I really, really started to focus on writing and my vocabulary. Although I said I was, you know, memorizing vocabulary, I wanted to go like hardcore. So all the vocabulary that I had memorized, I didn't mention this earlier, but I would put them in Quizlet and I made Quizlet decks. And then I also would write them down in my vocabulary notebook. So in September, I started to just memorize all of these sentences here. All of them. <laughs> I would memorize the word and its definition and then a sample sentence. And this is something I strongly recommend for anybody who wants to learn vocabulary in any language. You need to memorize it in a sentence because it's hard to actually fully understand what's going on if you don't have context. Context is very important. And then I got a tutor on italki, which I really wasn't sure about at first. I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to, you know, what if, you know, what if they're not legit? But no, the tutor I got he works for Sedong Hakta, and uh, I believe he worked with the topic exam or something along those lines. Either way, he knows his stuff. So 
we would meet i believe twice a week for the four weeks that we met and he would just give me like prompts to write from one of his korean topic books and then sometimes he would send me articles so i could read in advance and that way i was able to practice my reading skills and then also writing skills and he just you know would go over my writing he would correct it he would tell me what sounds awkward or what's just like flat out wrong and he would tell me how to make things sound more natural and then he would tell me when i did good he'd be like okay this is really good you should make sure you put that in there you'll get a really high score yada 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 and what's funny is like he told me he's like i think you're gonna get level five and i was like bro i don't know about that like sounds like me uh, <laughs> i'm kidding i didn't say that but i was just like eh, i don't know he had like a lot of faith in me and i was like bro i don't know i'm just trying to get like that level three but what do you know when i took the exam i got level five so he was right in the end and it's because of him like for sure it's definitely because of him because i would have not done so well on the writing section had it not been for him i got what i got let me see 73 out of 100 points the average score was 39.31 i got what more than 30 points over the average that's a lot and that is not because of me per se that's because of him helping me so much so sonsingim tokbune jarage desseyo gamsamida sonsingim but uh yeah i think that's it that i have to say uh i mean for tips for anybody taking the upcoming topic exam i would just say vocabulary is really 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 important try to memorize your vocabulary with sentences and read a lot that's something that i did i didn't mention it earlier but I would go on Naver and I would just like look up articles, news articles, I would watch videos even if I didn't understand everything that was going on I would just keep practicing and going over the vocabulary just to expose my ears at least and I would also say be consistent with your Korean studies don't like study for one week and then stop for an entire week you will forget a lot that's how language works sadly you will forget it if you don't use it so yeah um i think that's it thank you for watching and perhaps if people are interested i might maybe do a more in-depth video about my books or how i use the books and uh yeah i can't really think of anything else yeah thanks all right thanks bye see you in the next one